Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here doing a random collective reading. You can be any sign for collective readings okay. Um, if something pulled you in from the title there's something in it for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't try to force it. And thank you so much everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, the love. Thank you so much everyone. I really do appreciate all of it. I really do. I love you guys so, so much. All right, so Divine, what do you have for the collective today? Messages for the collective. Okay. Ooh, the High Priestess and the Magician right out the gate. And the Hangman. Okay, I feel like there's actually somebody who's waking up um, trying to manifest you back in. I feel like you're the high priestess energy, but I feel like this person is the magician. They're trying to figure out a good way to approach you, okay? Um, yeah, and the central focus is this toxicity. It's gonna, everything's about to come to light. I feel like this person is coming towards you to tell you about their situation. Um, they could be with a, another toxic individual. Um, it could even be an addiction. Um, something they've gotten themselves into some kind of mess all right the, the, the devil always comes with a mess so that's about to be exposed um, I feel like the magician is the number one they're waking up this is like an aha moment this is a light bulb going off all right um, or going on let's you know they, they're flipping the switch here um, they're waking up seeing everything from a new perspective um, trying to come up with a way to tell you, right? They're coming in with this. It's an offer, but this is communication. Um, and I feel like they're really worried here about telling you what's been going on. I feel like all of this is coming to light. Okay, all of it is coming to light. And um, yeah, you're about to get the truth, collective. You're about to get the, the truth of what's been going on with this person. They've been afraid to confront this. They've betrayed you. They've backstabbed you. They've talked about you behind your back. They've watched you as you've walked away crying. They sabotaged this connection. Um, I mean, they've they, pretty much this is somebody who's done the most. And I feel like they thought they would get away with it. Okay? Um, now they're afraid to confront all of these things that they've done. But you're about to hear the truth from this person. Uh, you're about to get clarity. Everything is about to come out into the open here about this mess, this situation that they've been in. Yeah, they haven't been wanting to tell you. I feel like they're keeping something close to their chest, or they have been. There could even be some kind of, like, maybe they've discovered some kind of plan to betray you, to sabotage you. Clarify this Five of Swords. Yeah, I just feel like um, I feel like there's there may have been a plan to try to bring you down. They know everything that happened with you. They know what's been going on behind your back, and I feel like you're about to find out. Um, they could have another someone on the side as well, um, or you could be considered the other person here, but. I feel like they may have a few options. Yeah, and they're looking at you like um, you're their happiness, you're their future. They're, they're like angry. Somebody's coming in fast to tell you what's going on. Um, maybe they've had to start a family. Maybe they started a family with, uh, with this Queen of Wands energy. They're very, very burdened. They're very burdened. I feel like this person fooled around and, and started something with the Queen of Wands, I've got to say. Or they could have picked up an STD. I'm, you know, I'm just seeing that like a possible family situation with the Queen of Wands. This is someone on the side. I feel like you're going to find out this person 
played around and got someone pregnant is kind of the feeling that I'm getting. Or it could be a possible STD, but not with the Ten of Cups here. Um, I feel like they're angry, though. Yeah, see, and th it comes out again. Um, you're going to have your boundaries up. I feel like, honestly, I feel like this is your energy. I got to say, I feel like this Four of Cups is your energy. You, you've been lied to. You've been betrayed. You gave the best love that you could give to this person. You were treated like an option. And yep, and I feel like when they come in to apologize to you, you may not even want to hear it, collective. I feel like you're, you're sitting here looking down at everything that hasn't worked out, all the empty cups that were given to you in the past. Uh, you, you know how you were treated by this person in this situation, and it's almost like, you know, they come in, they present you with this cup, and you're like, no. You're very disappointed um, in this situation. I mean, it goes beyond that. Um, I feel like you know that there was a blessing in love here. I feel like you know you were the blessing in love here. Um, you really were innocent. You gave this person innocent love. You were telling them the truth. You would have never hurt them with this mitten on. Um, they were hiding some things from you. And when they come to present this, they may be hiding some things still. I don't know. I feel like this person's going to, you're going to get the truth. You're going to get clarity in the situation, but you're going to be like, but no, I don't want to be in this mess. And I feel like they may have um, started a family with somebody here. They're going to try all that they can. They're going to apologize to you. They're going to tell you what happened here. They're really trying hard to get you to like back together somehow. They want you. They want you, but this is karmic justice, though. This is karma. They're going to lose you, and you were a past life soulmate connection that literally they, they probably have never felt this kind of love before from anybody. You know, you love them unconditionally. This is somebody that you looked up to, somebody that you trusted, and all they did was disappoint you and hurt you and betray you behind your back. I feel like they, they kept you sitting and... And um, crying, they watched you walk away crying. They did nothing to help you. Um, they didn't think that they needed to at the time. And I feel like um, now they're going to try to do everything that they can to get back in. But you know what? Uh, they, they treated you like an option. They may have put you in a, some kind of competition. They chose the devil, somebody toxic over you. They, uh, they backstabbed you, they betrayed you, they, and they, you know, I feel like you did nothing to deserve it. You were a blessing for this person. Um, they let you go on and on, wait for how long? Forever, it seemed. It could have been years. So for some of you, it could have been eight or nine years that you haven't gotten any clarity. You haven't even gotten so much as the truth. No respect, no consideration in this. They treated you like you didn't even matter. And now this person wants to come back in. You know, I feel like, uh, I feel like you've, you know, it's almost like you're done wasting your time. You're done waiting around. There is no more waiting. There is no more um, needing of an apology. I feel like you've gotten your own kind of clarity here already, High Priestess very intuitive you probably already know what's going on in the background all you wanted was some consideration respect and the truth somebody to come towards you with the truth but they never did i feel like you're detaching from this energy um, and you're moving forward right now into a new cycle filled with abundance um, and you're not in your emotions so this has gone on for so long that you've healed yourself you may not even require an apology anymore, especially if this person is wrapped up still in something toxic. You know, I feel like while you were hurting, they were out here playing. That's what it feels like to me. They picked up a queen of wands and either got an STD or got them pregnant, started a family. 
you know, and now with you, I feel like you're out of their life. You're leaving their life collective and now they're feeling out of like out in the cold, right? <clears throat> That's what I'm feeling like here. Now they feel that um, detached. They feel your absence now. Yeah, <clears throat> they may be thinking to themselves, well, you know, I'll get the collective to calmer waters. But look at where you're put in this boat. You're face planted in all of these swords, just like a mental mind trap all over again. I feel like this person may just want to come in and um, tell you all the truth. You know, I uh, honestly, I, I see them telling you about a big mess is what I'm seeing. But I don't see them able to commit to you at all. And this person could still be up in there, like being arrogant, okay? Putting love, a, a, other people's love, all of these cups, I see them as other instances where they um, got somebody to fall in love with them and just set them on a shelf and sat back and smiled and smirked about it. You could have been laughed at. You could have been made fun of. This person may have just waited you out just for to feed their ego. Playing little games with people. This is someone very smug. You know, this also stands for wish fulfillment. I mean, I'm sure, you know, you would be their wish. You're high priestess energy. I feel like you guys are, are abundant and they see where you're going in life. Which is through a doorway of abundance here and opportunities. Some of you could be moving away. Changing locations. But I feel like this person's coming to talk to tell you the mess that they're in. They're afraid to tell you everything, though. They may want to try to keep some secrets, holding something close to their chest. But I feel like at this point in the game, you already have clarity on their character. And, um, and you're moving forward. You're no longer waiting around for this person anymore. Ooh. The divine is warning this person, be careful. Do not, do not come back in trying to play the collective. You could be dealing with the fire sign, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like the divine is warning this person, you better be careful. Do not come back in foolishly without thinking things through because no matter what you do, there will be a consequence for this. Do not put the collective in a mental mind trap. Do not betray the collective anymore because this is our star. I can't make it up because this is our light worker. This is the person who is out here helping other people. So, do, I mean, this is a warning, a big warning for this person from the divine. Don't do it. Don't, do, not, do not betray and get this light worker all wrapped up in their head anymore they've got an important job to do for humanity a spiritual job you're a healer an empath you're out here possibly in the public eye do guiding other people through the same kind of heartache at the hands of others so the divine is warning this person you better think it through because what you do next is going to have severe consequences like, they're watching this situation. Okay? They are watching the situation. And um, I feel like this person, I just get the feeling like, you know, they do want to change things around. They do. And you're going to get clarity on this. I feel like you're going to get the truth here. But they still, you know, they're not going to stick around. Because they've got a, something going with somebody else. Yeah. They put you in a competition. They just watched you wait. That's what that's the feeling that I'm getting here. But you know what? Yeah, you've been betrayed. All you want is the truth. And time is up. The time's up for this person. This is a new cycle. This is a new cycle. Um, you could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, heavy on Aquarius, um, really heavy on air. Your person could be a, a, a Pisces, a Sagittarius, a Virgo, Aries, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn maybe, Taurus. 
Yeah, they're getting a major warning. It's over for them. It's over. And the door is shut. Time is up. They, You know what? They had as much time to heal and do their work as you did. You know what they did? Nothing. They chased tail. That's what they did. They, they, they entertained this other person, this Queen of Wands energy. I feel like they... Um, they gave more to them than they gave to you. They gave more to every anybody than they gave to you. And now they want to come back in. They want to put you through a painful ending. They want to get you stuck in your head again. And the divine is like, buddy, you're, there's going to be severe consequences if they come in messing with you again because you are a light worker. You are chosen by the divine to do a job to help other people and lead them through the same kind of stuff okay and it, yeah you were definitely betrayed stuck in a, in your back with that sword they better think about how they come towards this earth angel this is a this is a, a warning this yeah the consequences for this action if they come in to do this to you again it's going to be severe it's going to be severe. Um, what is your advice? Let's get you some advice, collective. On the bottom of the deck, time to go. Time to go. <laughs> what advice do you have for the collective? Yeah, I don't like this. You I, Now, this person's going to come and try to communicate with you, but they have to tell you the truth. They can't hold back any lies. You know, there's going to be consequences with this. They can't just, you know, tell you a bunch of stuff to hurt you and keep you stuck in your mind again and bring you back down and then walk away snickering. They can't do it. If they do, there's going to be major consequences. Um, yeah, there's a loyal heart on its way to you, collective. That's what the advice that's what the divine wants to know or wants you to know there's a loyal heart that is on their way to you okay that's going to make you really really happy all right so yeah this is what's coming in for you they after all that you've been through for all of your effort and you know we all had time to change things around you changed your life um with the world card here you put in the effort you learned your lessons from all of this. You passed all your tests, and now you get to graduate and go to a new phase in your life that's going to be awesome. And love is coming in for you, a real love, who's, who's going to meet you at your level, who's not going to leave your side, who's going to be there for you and be honest with you. And it, it is going to bring in a lot of happiness here. Yeah, you're between worlds right now. So you're, you're crossing from the past cycle into the new cycle. And look at how colorful the new cycle is going to be. I feel like some of you still has, have questions as to why did this happen to you? You know, um, I feel like it's because you're a light worker. You know, a, a light worker's life is difficult. We have to go through these experiences that are heartbreaking so that we can come out the other side and be able to help others. We have to learn our like very harsh lessons. The life of a light worker is heartbreaking because you have to have that knowledge to pull other people from that heartbreak. So, you know, this is why. It's because you're special. It's because you're chosen. And I feel like, you know, a lot of you now, you understand that. Yeah, so here's the thing. This cycle's coming to an end. But when one door closes, another one opens. And I feel like that's what's happening here. You are leaving the last cycle collective and letting it fall away, letting it die out, right? Letting that last cycle end. But there's something new bubbling up from underground. And I feel like it's this new soulmate connection that's coming and it's going to make you really happy anyway collective that's what i've got for this reading i do hope this helps i hope it resonates with you a huge warning for your person they're being warned
do not come in and tear down the collective again. Yeah, they will suffer major consequences for that. Anyway, everybody, um, if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.